Hello all, my name is Krishna and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today in this particular video, we will be discussing about a very important library which is called as PyForest. Now PyForest is pretty much useful library guys because recently I have used this and I found out a lot of uses of this. So in short, it imports most of the Python data science libraries just by installing this PyForest libraries in your environment. So it imports all the popular Python data science libraries so that they are always there when you need them. If you don't use a library, it won't be imported. So first of all, I'll just go and uh, you know open an Anaconda prompt and show you how you can basically install this particular library. So just you need to write pip install and you have to write as pyforest. So once you do this, uh, it will get automatically installed. It will some, take somewhere around 30 seconds for you to install. And once it is installed, now currently I have installed in my laptop. So you can see that requirements already satisfied. And this is the location where it has got installed. Now what I'll do is that I will quickly go and copy and paste one uh, URL from where we'll be reading some CSV file with the help of read underscore CSV. Now you know that read underscore CSV is an inbuilt function of pandas, right? Over here, I've just used alias name like PD. I can also use PD1 if I want, okay? So alias is not a concern over here. The main thing is about the inbuilt function. Now as soon as I execute this, I've not in, in, I mean imported any pandas library, but here you can see that it has got executed successfully. And this is all because of this PyForest library. Now if I go and write df.head and if I see this, you will be able to see the data. Now, how do we understand that how many libraries has got imported and, and as I told that whenever we require it, it will get imported only. And just by code that you are writing, any inbuilt function that you're using, it will import that specific library. So if I execute one command called as active imports, now you can see over here, pandas has got imported very easily, right? Even though I have not imported in the initial stages. Now similarly, what I can do is that I can also use mat.lib and we can also use numpy. So let me just create uh, some list like lst1, lst2, and I'll try to plot this with the help of uh, you know uh, matplotlib so in order to uh, use matplotlib i'll use plt.plot and again guys this alias can be anything okay you will not have concern with respect to the alias the main thing is that it will just go and see whether the inbuilt function is getting mapped to that particular library or not so here i'm going to plot list one and list two and i'm going to say plt.x label i'm going to say x axis and then I'm going to say plt.y label and then I'm also going to say y axis. After that, I'm going to say plt.show. Now here you can see that once, once I execute this particular line of code, automatically the matplotlib library, I mean the visualization graph is getting created over here. And if I again write active underscore imports, now you'll be able to see two libraries, right? Because I've used this also matplotlib so now you have pandas and matplotlib that has got imported. Similarly, you can also use arrays, uh, numpy arrays. So I can write np.array and here you can basically give a list of values like one, two, three, four, five. And here automatically array will get created. Now, if I try to again use active underscore imports, you can see that numpy has also got imported. Similarly, you can also go ahead with cbon. So suppose I'll create a data frame, which is like pd.read underscore csv. And here I have a data set called as Mercedes Benz. Okay, so once I execute it, now Cborn has one inbuilt function called as dist plot. And if I give df of, let me just show you what all variables are here. So if I write df one dot head, you can see that I have various data like this kind of columns that are present. And I have taken this data set from Kaggle. You can also try with any data set. What I'll do is that I'll write df one of y and I'll try to create a dist plot. So once I execute this, you'll be able to see a wonderful graph, right? So this is your histogram and dist plot, basically the probability density function. And if you again write active underscore imports, you'll be able to see the library has got imported. So you can see Cborn is also getting imported and it is mapped to the last name. So pretty much amazing library, which I have recently used. And uh, as you know that whatever I get to know, I'll definitely be sharing with you. Just try it in your use cases, try to use this. And again, this is a lazy important technique. Only when you're using the inbuilt function, only that time only the libraries will get automatically installed. So I hope you like this particular video. Please do subscribe to the channel. If you're not already subscribed, please share with all your friends whoever require this kind of help. 
I'll see you on the next video. Have a great day. Thank you, Manda.